Hey, hello. So I learned a trick the other day and I thought I would give it a shot here on a video. So I sold this, uh, the rock thing, right? So I have a box, grab it right here. This box right here, I put together, thinking I would be able to put it in it, but look, it doesn't fit. It's too small. So I was thinking, hey, there was a trick I learned the other day about cutting a box and making it fit. So I have Frankenboxed in the past, but I've never done anything like this one. So I'm going to back up. I got a new camera. I apologize. I unplugged my other microphone. I really need to redo it. But All right. So this is a nine by nine by four box. And the video said, hold on. I don't even know if this is going to work. So it looks like I need to cut. So it said something about cutting your box. So I'm going to, I'm just going to try this. So I'm cutting this bit right here. Okay. And I'm going to cut the same thing on the other side. And then I want to do, I think it's the opposite. Hold on. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Can you tell? All right, so I think it's the same side. I didn't know if I needed to cut like the opposite side. All right, so let me see if this works and I'm going to show you what I just did. I don't know if I did it right. I didn't. I did the wrong side. <laughs> All right, hold on. I'm going to cut this side. And then I'm going to cut this side. I just get worried about cutting myself with this. I'm going to have to tape up what I just ended up doing. Okay. So. Oh, my God, it works. Okay, so this is what I did. So this is my, this was my box. Okay. This was my box. I cut right here and right here. <laughs> backwards right no right there right here I cut right here and I cut right there and then on the other side I did it wrong but you want to do the opposite end so like I cut here but you needed to cut here so I end up have two here so I have to tape one of them right so then you bend the box where you made the cut so I'm going to bend the box on this side where I made the correct cut. I'm going to bend the box. So see how now instead of being nine inches, it's whatever this is. And then over here, I'm going to bend the box the same. So it's now going to be right here. So instead of being a square, I have now made, sorry, it's messed up because I cut it wrong. It's now a rectangle. See that? So now I'm going to tape it. And I'll show you the end result. Okay, so now I've taped the box up. So there you go. That is, this is now the size of the box. So now I can take this, and it fits perfectly in the box. I'm so excited to have learned that. So even better, there's extra room in here. I can actually use my box resizer and, and make this so it's not so deep. So it lays on top of the item and doesn't uh, and doesn't rub against or not rub against it because it makes it so the item doesn't move. But instead of doing that, I'm going to just put some. I'm just going to put some of this around it. I'm actually going to put this in upside down. So if it does move, it's not going to hit that. So oh my gosh, I am so thankful. So first I heard about this trick from Lisa. Lisa, I think I'm going to say your name wrong. Huddles, Huddlestone? Huddleston? I'm sorry that I got your name probably wrong. Completely. But she did a video. I will try and remember to link, link her channel. And then the other one was a video on TikTok that my sister had sent to me. I don't watch TikTok recently. Uh, I'm going to have to start watching it. I was just watching Harry Tornado, and he was mentioning TikTok. 
So, so see right here where like it's been cut and stuff, or not? Maybe it's not the cut. Maybe that's the the edge. I'm just gonna tape all the way around the box. I apologize for all the tape noise. You guys can't even see what I'm doing. My new camera comes in at me a little bit more. It, it's not as um as wide angle. So I'm excited about this trick. I did it the other day. Right. I did it the other day too, but I didn't. Um, so there, look at it, it's all ready to go. The I could have put this in a shoebox from the post office, but I would have had to pay for priority mail. And this only weighs 11, 11 ounces. So um, I did it the other day, but I didn't videotape it. And I know I've been wanting to show you guys this trick that I learned. And I'm just so excited to now know how to do this a lot easier than what I used to do. Oh, my gosh. I would, like, take it apart at the seams and read. I mean, so much extra work that I created myself. And this is so much, so much quicker. So there's your little tip video for today. I'm going to put this up on itself. I was going to add it to a shipping video, but I will mention it in my shipping video when I do a larger video about shipping for eBay. Uh, so there you go, folks. Nice, handy trick that you can use. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.